Finance Minister Seth Tekpes believes the current state of the economy is sound with bright prospects. What the president has said is, as at now, the economy is in a very strong turnaround. He did indicate that even though we may be missing some targets, the investments that have been made are so important that the economy is going to return to a growth path. And as he has indicated, that is a baton that he is handing over. Economies go through a lot of twists and turns. And I think the important thing is to see the trajectory from when he took over to what he is handing over. And I think that is what he portrayed. Now the economy itself is not strong. The city to the dollar. One dollar is equivalent to about four cities and something. So that alone, I don't want to use the word my president is not telling the truth. I also disagree with him on that score. So I think that he has bequeathed with us a very weak economy. It's going to take us quite a hectic time to resolve this, 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 this economy. The Minister of Petroleum and Energy, Emmanuel Amakofibua, also indicated the Mahama-led administration had done enough, leaving very little effort required to fix the energy challenges. We are today talking about the strategies to address excess capacity. And that's not what we were talking about last year. Last year we were talking about deficit. And for a leadership to have been provided by President Mahama to the extent that within 18 months, 800 megawatts of power has been added. A solution has been proffered that for the first time we, have, we are producing indigenous gas and by 2018 we are going to reach over 300 million standard cubic feet of gas. It's going to ensure our energy security. And that's what we are talking about. We see a bright future for the country because of that leadership. Minority spokesperson on Agrec, Dr. Afriya Koto bemoaned the poor state of agriculture in the country, expressing optimism the incoming government would ensure it is improved. He didn't say much about agriculture, and he can't because he knows that the performance of Ghana's agriculture under the watch of the NDC in the eight years have been a total failure in terms of all aspects. We're going to increase public resources into agriculture. We're going to go into the promotion of water in agriculture. And all those things are going to come into play, which will reverse the downward trend in the growth of agriculture in this country.